We have to face facts. There is a big problem with the views that too many Muslims hold in Britain. Here are those facts. Only one quarter actively don't want Sharia law in the UK. 52% want it to be illegal to show a picture of the Prophet Muhammad. 57% want halal food to be compulsory in all schools and hospitals. Only 28% are opposed to making homosexuality illegal. On homosexuality, it's hardly surprising when you've got people spouting stuff like this online. We're sitting next to a guy who's going to go and penetrate and sodomize another guy tonight. And you're going you're to expect Allah to give you victory because you're standing next to a guy who's going to literally insert his genitals into another man's back passage. We've spoken a lot on this show about the desire for a Muslim political party. Well, it turns out that only 16% of British Muslims would be opposed to that. Hamas is a prescribed terror group. They are a terrorist organisation. Well, 46% of British Muslims have more sympathy for Hamas than Israel. And only a quarter of British Muslims apparently think Hamas committed rape and murder on October the 7th. This is stark. But here are the statistics that show that unless something changes, Britain is frankly doomed. Here are the stats for young British Muslims. 18 to 34 year olds tended to have the most extreme views. 53% of them sympathise with Hamas apparently. They are the most likely to want to make Islam our national religion and they are the most likely to want to impose Sharia law. I think this is probably the nail in the coffin for integration and assimilation. It also appears that Muslims who were born and raised in Britain, who had exposure to our way of life and our culture, are more likely to have more extreme views. So what is happening there? I suspect that viral videos online are penetrating and poisoning young minds more easily than traditional hate clerics in mosques ever could, for example. We have people preaching about women being whores. Any woman who comes out of her house perfuming herself, every single eye that looks at her, she's an adulterous woman. Clips like that show that this really should be a women's rights issue. The pushback, I think, should be on women's rights, if nothing else. What would women's rights be in this man's version of Britain? Allah brings down governments because what? When men, men and women start free mixing, Allah destroys the government. Islam is reportedly the fastest growing religion in the UK and there is a surge in young white British boys converting. The latest figures show that the generation of British Muslims coming through now are apparently more extreme than we've seen before. Look, people can make their own minds up about this. I mean, do you honestly think that the so-called religion of peace is here to assimilate and blend in or not?